Welcome to Shraddha Shala. As I mentioned earlier, we'll try to interview yoga teachers and yoga practitioners to share their knowledge and expertise with us. So here we are. We are at B Yoga Wellness Studio, which is located in Burlington, Ontario. And I must say it's one of the most beautiful yoga studio that we have seen in Burlington so far. So let's welcome our first guest, Monica. Welcome, Monica, to Shraddha Shala. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much, Shraddha. Great. So thank you so much for taking your time out and sharing your knowledge with us. So, Monica, there is one question always comes in my mind, and I'm sure my viewers also want to know, why yoga? Why yoga? yoga? That is such a big question. Yoga essentially is everything. Yoga is everything. In fact, you probably know that the word, the root word of yoga, the ancient root word of yoga means to yoke, to connect, to yeah. unite. Yes. And in my mind, when we're, what are we yoking to? What are we connecting to? It's something that's greater than ourselves. Yeah. And so in order for us to have that experience of being connected to everything, we need to put all the pieces back together of ourselves. So the physical body, the emotional body, and the mind body. And so through yoga, there's this really gentle process that happens where you are through the asana, you're working the body, you're moving the energy, you're eliminating toxins from the yeah. body, you're bringing the body back into its healthy state. And through that practice, you're stimulating the emotional state, there's an inquiry that's always going on there, and then within the mind as well. And so there's this gentle, constant, continuous cleansing and clearing of energy physically, emotionally, and mentally, and basically getting rid of all of the things that we do not need, all the things that stick and bind to, to us physically, emotionally, and mentally. And so slowly, slowly, this beautiful cleansing and clearing happens where we're free. We free ourselves yeah. from all the things that are sticking yes. yeah, and binding. And so there's this, this, uh, this freedom. And in, in Sanskrit, that's referred to as moksha, moksha, liberation. Yes. Yeah. So that it's a very beautiful experience. So whether you come to yoga because... You just want the physical benefits of it. There's yeah. so many physical benefits. There's emotional benefits. There's mental benefits. But at some point, it all sort of, it's working on yeah. everything simultaneously. Absolutely. It's very difficult to separate it. Yes, absolutely. That. Absolutely. Wow. What a beautiful description. So, Monica, I see that you have been practicing yoga for a very long time and you teach different, different styles of yoga. Mm -hmm. I must tell you all, Monica has more than 1,500 hours of yoga teacher training certificates under her name. She teaches Hatha, Vinyasa, Yin, restorative yoga, meditation, Pranayama. She is hypnotherapist, Reiki therapist, Thai massage therapist, <laughs> and many everything. more, <laughs> and many more. So Monica, which style of yoga you enjoy the most when you teach your classes? This is a really hard question to also answer. Mm -hmm. But I guess I would say my most favorite, I would have to say, is the yin yoga. Yin yoga. But that's not, I don't want to take away from any of the other practices because I love every discipline and every practice of yoga. And I feel that, you know, the saying, uh, all roads lead to Rome. Yes. You know? so, so there's many different approaches. And of course, yoga isn't also the only way to ach achieve or attain, you know, this sort of ultimate state of well-being but it's it's a pretty great way to achieve it and so you can achieve well-being um, through the different styles of yoga but I really see that people get the like the quickest mm -hmm. results the quickest releases happening in the yin yoga. yin yoga yeah because even though it's not like it's not um, physically an extenuating yeah. kind of practice where um, it exhausts you. It's it's challenging physically because you're getting into areas of the body that are really tight and stiff and lack uh, flexibility or mobility and range of motion. But really, we're dealing with the fascia, and in the fascia, you can you can have. Um, the tightness and the stiffness that's expressed there can also be related to 
um, uh, feelings and emotions, emotions absolutely and any trauma, trauma yeah. that's stuck in the body and so and where because you have to think the the fascia is essentially it records information it transmits information and it stores There's information so anytime we've had any kind of a negative experience that we haven't processed mm -hmm. in a healthy way it's with us yeah it's stuck it's and stuck it's causing somewhere. problems in our neck in our shoulders, in our back, in our hips, in various parts of the body. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of muscles in these areas and a lot of opportunity to hold. Yeah, and hold. once those muscles go into a holding pattern of tension, then they tend to stay in yeah. that holding pattern of tension. And uh, so the yin yoga, because it's such a slow, deep practice yes. with long holds, holds. You have no choice, but you're sort of going through this stage of wrestling with the discomfort of being, you know, being in that posture. And then eventually you're moving through this beautiful surrender. And it's that's when the magic is sort of happening. And yes. people might even find themselves having a huge emotional release. release absolutely. You know, like if you're in a pigeon pose for three to five minutes, yes. sometimes longer you know, and you're, you're moving, you're allowing yourself to move from that stage of discomfort to comfort. Yes. You're, and then eventually you get to a place of bliss, yes. right? Because then you, you start off hating a posture and then you can't wait, wait to go into it. And then you love, your body loves it so much. Um, so, and once you get a little bit of a taste of that in that practice, you really start to to appreciate it so much and to love it. But those elements, you're gonna, that comes through in all of yoga. It's mm, just that yeah. in yin yoga, that's really the focus. You're slowing everything right down. Yes. And then you're really delving deep into your, your physical body to unpack it yes. and to free it yeah. from the stuff that's stuck. Yin yeah. yoga. Yin yoga. Beautiful. In a nutshell. <laughs> Sterem Sukham. So that's what we talk about in Sanskrit. The yoga is about Sterem yes. Sukham. So you can always get that benefit and the feeling of uh, steadiness when you try yin yoga. That's right. And uh, Monica, I, I have come across myself when I see that pe people, those who are new to yoga journey, they have just started doing uh, yoga. So they get very confused mm -hmm. when they walk into any yoga studio yes. to find out which class they need to yeah. do. So with your experience, what classes, what style of yoga that you recommend to the person who is very new to yoga? Sometimes, you know, you ask someone what, like, what are you here for? What do you need? Some people will say, well, I'm here because I want to work out or I'm here because I need a stretch. Uh, I'm not flexible or, you know, I need to get into shape. Yeah. So there's different reasons, or I need to find, uh, I need to, I need to relax. Yeah. There's different reasons why people are coming to yoga. But the interesting thing is that sometimes they think they're coming for one thing, but they really end up discovering mm -hmm. that they needed a whole, the opposite of sometimes, what they thought. Yes. You know, so sometimes people think that I really need a workout. I need to get fit. I need to yeah. get strong. But really what that person needs is to relax their nervous system. Yes. And so, um, so it's, it's a really difficult, another difficult question mm -hmm. to answer. Shraddha. <laughs> uh, you have to allow yourself, you yeah. have the only thing you have to do as someone coming to yoga is to just be willing yeah. to try. To try. You just have to be willing to try. So you don't want to start to think that that's too difficult, too challenging, too advanced, too anything. Yeah. You have to be sort of brave yes. and vulnerable and yeah. allow yourself to be a beginner and to yeah. come with a beginner's mind and to just be open to learning. So you have to be a happy learner. Yes. Yeah. And a happy student. And you just come and you explore. And so because we recognize that, in fact, at our studio, um, we, we offer an introductory special, yes. which is very, very generous. Like some people come here and they're blown away at the generosity of the, the offer. Yes. It's 20 whole days of yoga yeah. for only $20. $20. So we ask for a small commitment because we find that if people don't make some kind of contribution, then, yeah. you know, it's like it didn't cost them anything and then they're mm -hmm. not really using it. So that... That is meant to give you the opportunity to sample and to try 
everything Everything. because there is so much diversity um, so many options we are a multidisciplinary yes, studio absolutely. and we there's definitely something for everyone and there's something for every mood because sometimes yeah. you've had a rough day and you just want a restorative class yes sometimes you've been riding on the subway or on the go train mm-hmm. and you've got tension in your neck at the commuting or maybe you're you're in your vehicle for lots yeah. of time uh, commuting back and forth uh, to and from work and you need to release that tension. So you need a stretch class. Or you've been sitting stagnant at your desk and yeah. you need to get some energy. Absolutely. So you need to move your body. So we, the way that we teach here is that all classes are at a beginner level. Yeah. An introduct, not an introductory. Sure. I don't want to say an introductory level, although it's at a beginner level. It's yeah. for every body. And then once you start to advance in your own practice within those classes there are opportunities and cues that teachers will give you for you to advance and to move further or to go deeper in your posture or to try the next level because everything comes in stages and it's almost when your body is ready like you just know where to take it absolutely you said it absolutely right and i'm sure our viewers will uh, take note of it and uh, definitely try coming to be yoga and try the introductory uh, pass. Uh, it's for $20 in 20 days, which is beautiful option for everybody to try and experience how they how their body feels like it. And the last question, Monica, I want to ask you, how B is different than other yoga studios around you? What is the special, special thing about B? Why one should walk into B? Well, if you're doing yoga anywhere, that is uh, amazing. So it doesn't really matter where you do yoga. I know that um, this studio, that we have a a beautiful group of people who are so dedicated and devoted to their yoga practice and believe in it and love it and just want to share it. Yes. Uh, We, all of the teachers here are pretty much career yoga teachers yes, they're yeah. lifers they have gotten into the their their discipline each person has their yes. own niche and their own specialty and their own beauty and they bring their own authentic self to the studio so when it's for me it's really organic practice when people come to the studio and i hire them there's like a little bit of magic mm-hmm. there's a spark yes. there they're bringing their, their, you know, their spirit, their soul. I just want to be around them all the time. It makes me happy when uh, the teachers come and practice yoga and they're a part of the community. So I just think that this place is infused with, you know, all of these beautiful people that are meant to be working in this place (laughs) together and just sharing all this, all their expertise and their knowledge um, with our community and our students. So I think it's about the the community that sort of infuses the spirit within Absolutely. this place and also the students, you know. Yes. So this this studio has a very strong community. And in fact, it had a strong community even before I came into it because mm. I'm not the founder of the studio, but I'm kind of the steward of it. Mm. I came into yeah. an existing community and I'm just sort of maintaining it. Yeah, you know, I, I yeah. must say that it's very, very well that you have maintained it. And it's true. The community in B Yoga is beautiful. You will never experience anything like harshness here. Everybody's so kind, so beautiful, so helpful here. And I'm sure you all can enjoy your time at B Yoga. And I must say, drop by, see the studio and you will feel the positiveness. Thank you so much, Monica, for your time today and sharing your knowledge with us. Thank and you, I, I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.